Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Smokes World. It's your boy Smokes. Give me the dab. Bow. So today, man, um, I have a very, very tragic topic to to cover. Um, oh, by the way, I don't have a guest today. This, you know, it's just me. You, you have to deal with me. Just just me today. <laughs> uh, so I hope you know. Bear with me. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to touch on these uh, mass shootings that took place uh, August third in El Paso, Texas. And then just the day after, one took place in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, the one in El Paso, um, 22 people died and injured 26 others. And, you know, it's, you know that's, a, that's a pretty big number. 22, 22 people died, 26 others were injured. And the one in Dayton, 10 people, including the killer, were killed. And 27 others were injured. So, and I know there was another one, I think, in California. And another small one in Chicago, I believe. I don't know too much about those. But, um, but you know, I'm, I'm talking about mass shootings in general. You know, um, it's a very tragic thing. You know, it's, it's, it's fucked up. You know, it's fucked up like a motherfucker. And, you know, basically, you know, a lot of people are arguing about, a lot of people are debating, you know, you know, wondering who's to blame, you know, you know, whose fault is it, and you got a lot of people on the left, you got a lot of people, just, you know, a lot of people in general that, you know, are putting the blame on Trump, you know what I mean, and uh, don't get me wrong, I mean, I, I, ver I dislike Trump very, very, very much, um, I hate that motherfucker, <laughs> uh, I don't like the guy, I don't like him as a president. I don't like him as our president of the United States, um, but you know the blame the, the the blame came all be on him, even though you know he 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 can't be the blame, you know he I mean he's helping of course with his racist rhetoric, you know that that he's putting out, you know he is part of the blame, you know but you can't put it all on him because this has been happening for, this has been happening for you know just fucking forever, you know, uh, it's been this way. Um, um, African Americans and Mexican Americans have been fighting for their right to be here in America for a long time, you know, and it's, it's a bunch of bullshit because, you know, most Mexican Americans are, have a large percentage of Native American, American in them, so, first of all, we fucking belong here and shit, you know what I mean, this is our fucking land in the fucking first place, you know, but, um, and, uh, and history history shows that there was even African American tribes here, and I suffered a bit too, whatever. But you know, but we do know that they were brought here from Africa, the majority of them, and and you know, and they help, we helped mold this country into what it is. You know, we made America what it is today. We made the United States of America. All of us together, uh, Mexican Americans, African Americans, you know. Chinese, Japanese, Russians, Europeans, we all together made this country into what it is. Not just white people, you know. Even though, like, that's what a lot of them like to say. But, um, so, you know, and I know that, I know that not, you know, a lot, every mass shooting is, you know, some white racist, man, you know what I mean? You have, you have, lot, you know, some mass shootings that, you know, that, you know, uh, minorities have done as well, you know what I mean, so, it's just, it's, it's, it's hate that drives every, uh, all these, uh, all these mass murders, they're driven by hate, you know, and, um, and Trump, you know, he helps with that, you know what I mean, I mean, if you, if you just fucking go and watch one of his fucking rallies and shit on YouTube, or uh, Facebook or whatever, and then, if just watch one of his rallies, just fucking sit there and watch a whole entire rally all the way through, and you'll see, man, it's fucking racist as fuck. Like, if you you got you got some reporters, you know, people who who are recording, you know, in the audience, and they're, and they're recording the people, and most of the fucking people in that building are fucking like, as Trump is speaking, they're fucking yelling at racist remarks. They're like fucking, you know, they're saying the N word, and they're saying fucking Mexicans, and you know, shit like that. You know, they're fucking a large percentage of the people that go to these rallies are racist people. I mean, straight up. I mean, there's no fucking, there's no argument uh, about that. The proof is there in the fucking videos. Just watch the goddamn videos and you'll see. You know what I mean? 
and Trump drives that. And, you know, Trump it says as much as he, you know, he says it all all the time that you know I'm not racist. You know, the 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 the, the Democrats are making me out to be a racist. No, motherfucker, you're making yourself to be racist. It's you, what you say, your comments, your fucking speeches, your rallies. It's you. It's not. It, it's it's so fucking clear, you know. And these Trump supporters. No matter what he fucking says, they follow him no matter fucking what. When it's fucking clear as day, he's a racist man. Just, just, just I mean, they say what they want. Maybe, maybe he is doing some good things like, you know, uh, uh, you know, maybe the economies are right. You know what I mean? Maybe he's passing some laws that are, you know, that are working and shit like that. Maybe he's, you know, you know, writing good legislation and, and shit like that, maybe you know what I mean, and but that doesn't that that doesn't mean he can get away with saying the most racist shit any president of the United States have said since fucking Andrew Jackson probably, and, and you had a few others and shit, but I I just I I, I, don't, I don't I don't understand how most Trump supporters can fucking still be there and support him. And run away from the fact that he's a racist man. They're like, and, and a lot of them will say like, "Well, you, uh, you're not, um, you, uh, you're not, um, you're not um, interpreting interpreting what he's saying correctly." Like you, you, like he's, they they say that we're we're we take what he says and we're twisting his words. <sighs> I, just listen to him talk. Let me give you a couple examples. August 17th, 2017. He said this. He said, he's speaking about the, the Confederate uh, monuments that were being taken down all over the country around that time. You know, um, a lot of, you know, statues and stuff like that. That were at federal facilities and and whatnot. And uh, he said this. He said, sad to see the history and culture of our great country being ripped apart with the removal of our beautiful statues and monuments. The culture. The culture that he's talking about is the racist culture. These statues and these flags, they represented people... Who didn't like African Americans. Who didn't like Mexican Americans. That's the culture he's talking about. That's the history he's talking about. He's supporting race. That it's clear as fucking day what he just said right there. Another thing. Um... He spoke on Puerto Rico when he said they want everything to be done for them when it should be a community effort. Does that motherfucker not know that Puerto Rico is part of the United States of America? Does that motherfucker not know that? That he's the president of Puerto Rico. That why should he why should he leave them out and, and tell them to do it themselves when they're part of this country we should federally we should help them the feds should fucking help them we should give them money and do everything we can to fucking help them like any other state in this in this country He's out of his goddamn minds November 27th 2017 he said at a ceremony uh, at a wait I'm sorry he said and this was this took place at a ceremony honoring Native American war heroes. He said, "You were here long before any of us were here. Although we have a representative in Congress who they say was here a long time ago, they call her Pocahontas." Like he was like he was speaking at this event, and after, he started off saying, "You know, like yeah, you've been here longer than us." It's kind of like he was talking, you know, you know, you just have the right to be here. And then he 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 couldn't just stop there. He couldn't just stop. You know, you know, we love you and. And and uh, we we appreciate the war heroes. We appreciate the Native, Amer the Native Americans who fought in our wars. And thank you for your great service. And he could have just he couldn't just say that and just stop there and shut the fuck up. He had to add 
that part about the the congresswoman, how they called her poker honest, like making fun of her. It was it was a woman that he didn't like. It was, she he disagreed with her politically, and you know he made fun of her and shit, like called her poker honest and shit, like at a fucking ceremony honoring Native Americans, at the fucking ceremony. Biggest one that, that that was just recent. He told four congress congresswomen to go back to their countries when three of them were born here in the United States of America. I, I just <laughs> I just don't see how Trump supporters are fucking letting this go, like support him as a president, whatever what he's doing for the country. But you gotta fucking call him out when it's time to call him out. You can't let him get away with this shit. He's done everything racist except except for saying the N word. Or except for saying fucking wetbacks. He's done everything else around that. I don't know what the fuck. I mean, like. It's just fucking. It's, 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 it's frustrating. It's frustrating for me to see how many people that I grew up with. To see how many people that, you know, I went to school with. Support. This motherfucker right now. I don't see how they can let their friends and their family be talked about in that way. Because most people here in, around West Texas, they have Mexican friends. They have black friends. It's a strong, there's a strong Chicano presence here in West Texas. Got a lot of Mexican friends. And and every fucking day you support this motherfucker. You're disrespecting them. You are. It's the fucking truth. There's no way around it. You can't. You can't fucking. You can't sugarcoat his words any fucking longer because it's just too fucking clear, man. He does it every fucking day. Every fucking day, it's a new fucking statement. There's literally hundreds, man. Do your fucking research. Go on fucking YouTube and just look up Trump's. Fucking racist statements that are all over the goddamn place. Every day he's doing this. And we we can protest him as much as we can. You know, we can keep on calling him out. Keep on, um, you know, calling him out on social media. Show him, showing up to the rallies and, rallies and protesting. But we're not going to do shit until his supporters, the people who support him, turn around and tell him and call him out for what the fuck he's doing. We need you motherfuckers to tell your fucking president that he's a racist fucking pig. And that it's not okay to fucking talk to people like that. He's the president of the fucking United States, bro. People want to Talks like when he told Colin Kaepernick, he said, get that son of a bitch off the field right now. He's fired. He's fired. September 22nd, 2017 is when he told him that. For kneeling down. And he was him and Trump supporters were mad at him for disrespecting our flag. What about when he disrespects the fucking people who live in this country and work every fucking day? Who do good. Who contribute to the community. He disrespects those people all the fucking time. How was not how was that not disrespecting our country? He disrespects the country all the fucking time. There's hundreds of there's millions of people who don't agree with them in this country. Are those millions of people un-American? No, because we make up 
we make up the United States of America. Us millions of people who are against them, we make up this country. And I, I know you, some of you Trump supporters, you're, all, you're, you're, you're saying, you know, well, you know, we still we can't have illegal immigrants. You know, we just can't have it. We can't have illegal illegal immigrants and this and that. You know, I can go on on. I, I can I can go on a whole different fucking thing with that. But I'm I, I'll say that for another episode and shit. But but okay, let's say okay, all right, yeah, we we need to clean the fuck. You know, we need to make sure. You know, they 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 need to come in through the border, right? Okay, they they need to do it legally, and whatever one not. Okay, okay, all right, that's the law of the land. But do you think it's still all right to mass deport? And separate the parents from their children just like that, like nothing. And send it back to Mexico with their fucking kids crying, with kids being locked up in fucking concentration, goddamn near concentration camps. Where little fucking nine year old girls are taking care of their little two year old brother. Or they're fucking pampered dirty as fuck. Hardly being fed. Do you think that's right? Do you think that's okay? And for you motherfuckers to say, well, they shouldn't have come here in the first place. It's not that fucking simple, you fucking idiots. It's not that simple. How can you not understand this? How can you not walk in, in our shoes? I mean, me, me I was born here, okay? I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a legal citizen. But my mother and father were born in Mexico. I have uncles, I got cousins, I got family that were born. I got uncles that came here illegally. I got people, family who come here illegally. I got friends who came here illegally. How do you think I feel when you're you're constantly attacking my people? Attacking my hand to tell saying that we're fucking rapists and fucking murderers. How do you think that fucking makes me feel? Walk in my fucking shoes. Then you wouldn't be fucking saying the fucking shit that you're saying. I promise you. It's fucking insane. Oh, man. It's fucking insane. I'm going to take a small break real quick. Right now, you're about to fucking... Um, I'm about to put the a music video... Um, my, uh, the homie Renaissance, um, he's a dope ass rapper, man. His name is Renaissance. I, I suggest y'all look him up, man. He, he got some dope ass music. He's actually on the, uh, the, the, the Texas Choppers cypher with my homeboy brother, Jake. Y'all go check that out too. Uh, but he, re he recently, he recently, uh, just, um, released a track about, uh, um, a day ago. And, uh. It's pretty dope. I think you're gonna like the message. I love the message. It's a dope ass beat. Dope. His lyrics are off. They're dope, man. They're dope as fuck. It's fire ass shit, man. Y'all check them out. Renaissance. Yo, I just wanna give my condolences to anybody that has ever been affected by any mass shootings that have ever happened. I turned the news on, seen a shooting in El Paso. I'm gonna blame that shit on Trump because he's been slandering my people. Causing fear and tension against all Hispanics Getting people in the frenzy over immigration Trying to fucking cause a panic Don't try to tell me you don't fall on him because it does If I inside a riot in the club and people die Because I robbed them up and I got them all fired up They gon' say I was the cause of it I bet you the police would try to lock me up A voice and platform has responsibilities Especially your president that's speaking reckless Might incite a white supremacist Where there's a lot of Mexicans to go on a fucking killing spree Because he feels that we the fucking enemy what gave him that idea? I don't know. Twitter maybe. An orange guy with a MAGA hat that don't like niggas maybe. The type to tell a congresswoman to go back to Africa maybe. The type whose father's KKK and he been racist since the 80s. I'm praying every day we need some change. There's something about these times that we living in today. It feels like everybody.
waking up one day and your skin is brown If someone wants you dead because of it on the way to your town They write a manifesto saying how you kind should die And you don't understand it cause you've been kind to others all your life But they see your skin color has a fucking sin And they don't know a thing about you and you ain't did a single thing to them And the president been saying all up on the news that Mexicans are raping So when people hear this shit they think of you You take your family to do some shopping Mind your business out of nowhere, hear some popping Turn around and see somebody's dropping Next thing you know you get hit and then your wife get hit And your baby girl just watches while she's sitting in a shopping cart Don't try to tell me that the president ain't liable Cause he been spewing hatred out his mouth and fucking lied to you And made an influential person feel like we was all a threat And now a lot of innocent people just lost their life today Yo, I'm praying every day we need some change And we're back. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed that track, man. Shout out to Renaissance, man. Go look him up. Um, oh, uh, speaking of Renaissance, he also he also made a statement that I'm about to read to y'all that he wanted me to share with you fine people on the Smokes World. So, so he said he just wanted to get. He just wanted to give his condolences to El Paso and anyone that's ever been affected by any mass shootings and domestic terrorism. I'm glad that, I'm glad he used that domestic terrorism. Terrorism. Hate is not the way. Love thy neighbor the way you want God to love you. Hashtag humankind. Hashtag one race. I appreciate you, Renaissance, uh, for giving that statement, and I appreciate you sharing that very dope ass track, man, that you put out, man. Uh, so yeah, shout out to Renaissance. Uh, check him out, man. Look him up. He's a dope ass rapper, bro. Uh, like I said, they put out the Texas, the Texas uh, Chopper, Texas Chopper, uh, um, cipher. What's my homeboy brother Jake's on? Go check that out too. It's dope as fuck. So, so I like what he said right there. He said domestic terrorism, and it, that's something that Trump and a lot of Republicans don't like. You know, to label them as, I think Trump recently said that it was it was a mental problem or something like that. Uh, you know, it's a bunch of bullshit. I was just thinking about something else. Um, while we're on break, I'm gonna show you a little clip of Trump. Talking about a federal judge, uh, he, he's he's a Mex he's a Mexican American judge. It's a federal judge, and um, his words about him are pretty fucking disturbing, dude. Yeah, check out this clip. Let me just tell you, I have had horrible rulings. I've been treated very unfairly by this judge. Now, this judge is of Mexican heritage. I'm building a wall, okay? I'm building a wall. I am going to do very well with the Hispanics, the Mexicans. So everybody. no Mexican judge could ever be involved in a case well, that involves you? Uh, he's a member of a society where, you know, very pro-Mexico, and that's fine. It's all fine. But Except I think, that you're calling I think he should recuse himself. Because uh, he's Then Latino. you also say, does he know the lawyer on the other side? I mean, does he know the lawyer? You know, a lot of people say but yes. I'm not I talking don't know. about that. I'm talking well, no, about that's, another, that's another problem. But you're invoking his race when talking about whether I'm or saying. not he can do his job. Jake. So, yeah. You see it right? I mean, he's he straight up says, I mean, he's like he's Mexican. <laughs> I mean, he's a federal judge. You know, the he he's non-biased, dude. He's a federal judge with many years of experience, a well-respected judge, and he's gonna go and say that he can't be a he could he can't be a good judge because he's a Mexican. It's fucking horrible, man. It's fucking horrible. It's disturbing, man. I I just don't know what. You know, I I don't know. There's nothing that we can say to convince 
the supporters of Trump. There's nothing that we can say. There's nothing that because if he's gone this fucking far with what he said and done throughout his life already, there's nothing that we can do to convince these motherfuckers to hold Trump accountable for his actions. Not just being a racist either, man. He's a fucking, he's a, look, he's had a, lawyers get arrested. People that have to do with his campaign, they've been arrested and been sent to prison. Close people to him. How the fuck is he not guilty of these same fucking charges? You think that he really he's really an innocent man? I mean, come on, it's fucking common sense. Uh, I just and and you just these motherfucking Trump supporters they just want so bad for this country to be to be ran the Republican way. You know what I mean? And and that's fine. You know, you know that's your political affiliation. Then that's fine. You know that's what you believe in. But you gotta fucking there's gotta be a time there's gotta be a a line you gotta realize that he's crossed the line and hold him accountable for that for this bullshit that he's doing. And you motherfuckers just letting him get with get away with it. And you're supporting him still. And it's making you angrier and you're supporting him now more than ever. It's just fucking ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. All right, I'm going I'm to read out a couple more statements that he said. Um, July 12th, 2018. He said, I think allowing millions and millions of people to come into Europe is very sad. I think you are losing your culture. Again, with that culture thing. What he's meaning is that it's, that it's not white anymore <laughs> as it was. That's what he means by that. And they're, they're allow. I mean, if they're allowing them. That means they're, they they allowed you know, you know, people to come into the country. They're not illegal immigrants. And a lot of people, Trump supporters, are saying he's only attacking the illegal ones. You know, if you come here right, then it's he's supportive. But right here is fucking proof that he does not like in people who aren't white to come into his country. That's fucking proof right there. I think allowing millions and millions of people to come into Europe is very sad. I think you are losing your culture. The white culture. That's what he means by that. I mean, it's, 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 it's right there. He said it. He's making himself look racist. Nobody's twisting his words. Nobody's fucking bringing this out of, out of, out of fucking nowhere and shit. He's doing it. He's a racist man. He's making these statements. He continues to make these statements. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. And as far as as far as gun control goes, you know, to be honest, I don't I don't know what the what you know, I don't of course I mean I don't have the fucking answer. I, I really don't know what to support on that. You know, I agree people have, you know, have the constitutional right to, to, to bear arms. But then again, why does somebody fucking need a big-ass fucking assault rifle and shit, you know? You know, a lot of them are all scared. A lot of these guys are scared. I mean, they're all saying, well, I got my big guns uh, ready because in the Constitution it says that, you know, they're able to, if the military, like, they will be able, they, they would be able it's to overthrow the government if they needed to. Like motherfucker, no matter how no matter how many guns you have in your fucking house, you're not gonna be able to take on the fucking military. <laughs> not, I don't give a fuck how many assault rifles you have. You're not gonna fucking take them on. It's not gonna happen. So why have those big ass fucking you know guns around? Why? Why the fuck do you need them for? You know. You know. You know. I, I mean. I, I just don't know about gun control. I don't know what the fuck to say about that shit. Oh, and by the way, if people are wondering, I'm not a I'm not a Democrat. 
Uh, I'm actually uh, I actually used to be like a moderate Republican, but now uh, I, I I probably claim myself as independent. Uh, you know I I I mean there's I like I like Beto or work I I really do like him. You know I don't share his uh, I don't share his um what he believes about you know abortions and stuff like that. Uh. And a couple of a couple of other things, but for the most part, I really do like this Beto guy. Um, I, I, I'm not com- completely convinced yet if I want him to be be the president president of the United States, but uh, right right now I, I like him. Um, I like what he's doing right now. How he's supporting El Paso. How he's there on the ground. How he's there talking to the victims and what he's done so far is. is um, it's pretty cool to see him do that, trying to, you know, he's actually there. He's been there, like, I think this whole entire week in El Paso, speaking at events, talking to the surviving victims. So, that's always awesome to see, you know what I mean? All right, um, I wanted to also, um, my homeboy, Brother Jake, a very close friend of mine, um, he also had a statement to make, and I'm going to read that for you he said, if, if Mexican immigrants are so bad, why are, are the raids to bust a high group of them? Um, why are the raids to bust a high group of them when, when they're always in some type of uh, workshop? Why is it never 300 immigrants cooking dope or 100, imp- 100 immigrants, immigrants raping bitches? <laughs> but yet in the past five years, the worst crimes were committed by Euro- European Americans. And most result in mass killing and planned strategical attacks. Very, very strong statement, which is backed up. You know what I mean? It's, um, you know, how Trump, Trump said he wants to, that he wants to get rid of the rapists and the murderers. And what we see all the time on the news, they're taking away hardworking parents away from their kids. I, um, you know, it's a sad deal, man. Uh, thank you, Brother Jake, for making that statement, man. Um, uh, yeah, and he's right, you know what I mean? The, um, uh, a, a lot of these, um, mass, uh, mass murders or, or these mass shootings, um, are done by Caucasian men, you know what I mean? And it's, it's, um, you know, it's hate. You know that, that's why they're doing these things. That 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 man in El Paso went inside that Walmart and purposely targeted Mexicans, bro. And he was a supporter of Trump. Now, if you can't say that Trump's all to blame for it, but if you're saying that he's not, if Trump is not part of the problem, then you are the fucking problem. Straight the fuck up. It's, I bet you some of you Trump supporters, when I go to these rallies, there's at least one out of ten people there that would have probably have the same ideology as that man who killed, mur- murdered those people in that Walmart. One out of ten. Get, fucking one out of five probably. Have the same mentality as that man. And you know, goddamn, they have the, they have, they're Trump supporters. That pretty much they they probably have lots of guns and shit, <laughs> lots of assault rifles and shit. Imagine, man. And and there's millions of people that voted for this guy Trump, millions. So imagine the number of people who are willing to do the same thing this fucking mass murderer did. Imagine all the people who want to go fucking killing Mexicans right now. And for you fucking Chicanos that are Trump supporters, I get you're Republican and you just like, you know, you like the Republican way. So you're supporting Trump because you don't want the Democrats to take over. So you're what you, so you motherfuckers are willing to let your fucking aunts and uncles and friends be bashed, be talked about bad. 
You're willing to let that shit happen And not say anything To me That makes you a bitch ass motherfucker When you're not standing up for your own fucking raza, standing up for your people, your family. When you're not calling out Trump on his bullshit, that makes you a bitch motherfucker. Sorry for the language. This is a very heated discussion. I mean, this is a very heated subject for me. Uh, You know what I mean? This is the way I express myself. Because I'm fucking angry. And I know, I know a lot of other people are fucking angry. And they're just tired of this bullshit. T- we're tired of seeing this on social media. We're tired of these motherfuckers attacking our goddamn family. Attacking our fucking people. We're fucking sick of it. That's all I have for today. Um, I'm going to end this with a clip from... Alexandria Cortez who I love by the way I don't I don't I don't agree with her politics a lot of her politics you know she's more of a socialist um, but I do like what she says about Trump and I do like what she says about what direction this country's headed in and she's calling out lots of motherfucking people and she's doing a good man you know I, I support her for the most part even though I don't be- believe in I don't agree with her politics, but but uh, she's a dope ass congresswoman, man. You got um, her um, they call her AOC, I guess. Her name's Alexandria. I forgot her full name. I'm sorry. But I'm gonna leave y'all with a. Cl- I'm gonna end this with a clip from her, and just think about the words she says. Even though if you fucking hate her or whatever, just listen to her talk and just fucking listen to her. All right. I uh, appreciate everybody for tuning in. Uh, and, and if you're a Trump supporter and you're my friend, it, it's cool, bro. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm probably gonna be mad that you like him, whatever. But at the end of the day, you know, we're still friends and shit. All right. So leave when we're drinking, getting fucked up. Or if we see somewhere to see each other at the store or something, you know, don't have hate towards me, bro. I, I hate Trump, but I don't necessarily, I don't hate Trump supporters. All right. If you, if, if you like Trump, that's, that's you. That's your political whatever bullshit, but. No ill will, all right? But I probably will call you on your bullshit, though. <laughs> I will argue with you, and I will debate over with, you know, debate about it with you, you know. So, um, and if you support Trump, and if you disagree with everything I just said, then uh, I invite you to come on to my show, and I'd like to debate you, debate with you right here in front of this camera. You know, let's do it. You know, we can go over it. You know, it doesn't have to be a, a, a bad debate. It doesn't have to be a bad argue. You know, I mean, we're gonna probably going to argue but, you know, we can build, you know what I mean? We can learn from each other, okay? Maybe we can do that. Uh, so, uh, everybody, please, man, hit the subscribe button, please. I'm on the road to 500 subscribers. Uh, I, I really want to get there. I'm about to hit 100 subscribers, and that, that's pretty cool. But I want to get to 500 pretty fast. Uh, so if you could do me the favor, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, please push the like button if you like it. Please leave a comment. Comment whatever, man. If you disagree with me, comment it, man. All right. If you agree with me, comment with everything. All right. You know what I mean? That's cool. You know. The, uh, I don't know. Just. <clears throat> I don't know. Just whatever. <laughs> uh, so peace, man. I mean, this is what it came from AOC. Y'all check it out. Latest smokes world. Bye. When we allude to people as an invasion, as an infestation, we are directly, we are directly pulling from the language of white supremacy. Directly pulling from the language of white supremacy. So I don't want to hear the question, is this president racist anymore? He is. What I have to say to the young men and increasingly some of the young women in this country that are falling into the grips of white supremacy, that find themselves getting radicalized in a funnel of vitriol towards Latinos, towards immigrants, towards African Americans, towards all people black, 
towards all people Jewish, towards all people of different faiths, what I have to say to you is come back because there is a mother waiting for you. I know it. I know there's a teacher waiting for you saying, what happened to my kid? What happened to my friend? And we will always be here and hold space for you to come back. We will love you back. You are not too far gone. And I know that this society is isolating. I know that this society creates depression. I know that the lack of opportunity here from Brownsville to, to El Paso, because Jumani is right, all of us is right. This is not just about assault weapons. This is about gun violence in all of our communities. So whether it's from Masai, or whether it's from racism, you're not more of a man with a gun. You're not more of a man if you are capable of violence. You are not stronger if you tear another life down. We have to make sure we address that in our culture. Fixing this is about fixing the laws, but it's about addressing our culture. We're going to have to go deep. We need to go deep because it's not just those that have succumbed to hate that have to change. We need to learn to love bigger to bring them back.